Hey guys, Tom, again, I'm back. Yes, it is the same day. I don't wear the same shirt every day. Okay, just so you know. You know, whenever you look in a camera, it's always the opposite. Like this looks like it's on my right or whatever, but it's the opposite. Anyway, today, in this video, not today, but in this video, I wanted to talk about different ways to save money uh, you know, like, you know, food, utilities, and entertainment. Um, now, concerning food, now obviously, you know, whether you're coming, I mean, if you're coming here as a single guy, you know, by yourself, or woman, single woman, single guy, whatever, then uh, it, I guess it depends on, I'm, I'm, I would tell you to cook, right? Like go to the grocery store, buy, go to the market. If you really want to save money, you know, you could probably go to these outdoor markets that they have. Although sometimes if you're a Kano, a Kano is like a foreigner. It's originally was like an Americano or whatever, you know, like it comes from Americano or whatever, like, like mostly from America, but it's pretty much known as like, they kind of use that word to describe any foreigner to the Philippines, you know, from the West, primarily. And, yeah, you will, you know, I was, I used to go a couple, three times, the first three times when after I got here that we went to the market and not, you know, like the outdoor market. I, I think uh, we, even though my girlfriend was kind of, you know, doing the transaction and everything but the prices that we were being charged I think was a little bit higher because I'm standing right next to her <laughs> and that's like a wallet just so you know if you're a Westerner you are perceived to have a lot of money you know what I mean or at least you know you're, you're sort of like middle class at least you know even if you're on a fixed income Whatever, you know what I mean? Even though you're not rich, but you know, you're gonna certainly be perceived as being have money, so so you will be victim. You will fall victim to the Kano price versus the Filipino price. So after a couple three times, you know, I think we were just like, eh. Uh, well for one thing, we don't really go to the market that much anymore because we go to SNR, which is pretty good deal for even like fruits and vegetables in that. You know, there's decent prices and a lot, and some of it's like even um, you know American like pine, you know, dull pineapples like instead of the regular local pineapples that you find at the regular grocery stores, you could find more. You know what I mean? I even found Haas, H A S S avocados at the SNR. Now, we just were there the other day, like yesterday, I think, and we forgot to, I wasn't looking for it, but I was in, the, we were in the fruit and vegetable area, and I didn't see it, you know what I mean? So, even though I wasn't looking for it, I forgot to look for it, but I didn't see it, you know, and we were in that area. So, they, it's probably something that they don't always have, but man, they had it the last time, two weeks ago when we went, and it was basically, I think it was like a dollar per avocado basically I mean you know equivalent to a dollar or it could have been two dollars but guess what man even if it's two dollars per avocado for a Haas avocado well if you look at what the prices are in the US especially now and it's not in season you know or whatever you're gonna pay about two dollars you're gonna that's their price you know what I mean that you're gonna pay in the US so a lot of times SNR will will have things available that aren't really available at the local regular grocery stores here and they're going to not be any more expensive than what you would pay in the US and, and sometimes even cheaper if it's like buy one take one you know stuff like that so and that's another good point concerning food is I would say I mean I know if you're by yourself you might think well I don't know if I'm going to be here for like a whole year. Or, you know, you don't know how long for sure you're going to be here, right? 
So you might be resistant to like getting an SNR membership, which I think was 700 peso for a year, which is like what thirteen dollars now or something like that or whatever. Twelve thir twelve fifty thirteen dollars something like that. It's about twenty five percent or whatever or twenty percent maybe of what it cost to be a member in Costco, right? <laughs> and it used to be 50 bucks the last time I was a Costco member, but I'm sure it's higher than that now. Um, so it's worth it. I mean, there's a lot of good deals. There's a lot of there's a lot of buy one, take one deals, you know, and stuff like that, especially on snacks and chocolates and stuff like that, like good chocolate, you know, like dark chocolate, like Hawaiian chocolate-covered macadamias and stuff like that. There, there's all kinds of stuff that they have good deals on. And the fruit and vegetables are pretty good, you know. Whole pineapples and whatnot, they also have sliced up fruit, but you're always going to pay a little bit more for that, you know, than you will for the whole thing. Um, but there's a lot of good deals there. So I don't know. I mean, if, even if you're by yourself, I think you could, it might be worth it. For, you might only have to go once a month, you know what I mean? You could probably stock up once a month, you know. But you'll save, I think you'll save money. And it'll be worth it, you know what I mean? It'll be worth that 700 pesos, even if you're by yourself, you know. And, and this is for if you cook, too, you know. You know, you could buy meat there and stuff like that, put it in the freezer, you know. If you don't cook, then I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you're, you're going to have to go to, obviously, restaurants and stuff like that. You could probably go to some of the smaller little vendor-type food stands. Um you know, what they would call street food here. I tell you what, man, if you're going to do that, if you're in the U.S. now, and let's say you're going to come to the Philippines within like a year or something like that, and you know that you're going to be by yourself and you don't cook, and so you're like, all right, well, then maybe I should just get street food. I would, just to be safe, I would get like your HEP A and B shots. Hepatitis A and B shots in the states before you know while well, you get your insurance medical insurance and all that covers it or covers probably a lot of it. I would just do it, you know, like and it's a it's a several shot series too. It takes like six months. You know what I mean? You got to get three of one, and two of the other, and, and and all that. You know, between the A and the B. I would just do it. it. You know, if you're gonna sort of eat a lot of street food or just or you just don't want to take a chance, you know. Because you could get you could get food poison type situation anywhere really you know it's probably more likely to happen with street food than it is in a restaurant you know but you can get it anywhere really get it in the U.S. <laughs> you know um, so but but that's what I would say I, I would say I mean yeah you could go to like the franchise you go to like Chow King Chow B and just get food for yourself and you know maybe you only eat like two meals a day right you might eat breakfast and dinner or whatever um, you know you could do that pretty reasonable here you know what I mean you could probably spend ten bucks a day easily or get away with only spending ten dollars a day on food you know even eating out if you're careful you know what I mean not eating at these high-end places and whatnot right if you're on a budget, you know, you could probably come away with it pretty good, you know, three, four hundred a month maybe on food, you know. Now, if you cook, you probably maybe do a little better than that, you know what I mean? It costs you a little less than that if you're cooking, you know. Um, but it's up to you, you know, if you don't cook. But that's what I, that's what we do, you know, we have four people in my family here, so... SNR works out good, man. We go there twice a month, every two weeks. We go there. Now we do go to the mark, the local grocery stores like the SM grocery store uh, or Pure Gold, another grocery store here in the Philippines. We go there like in between, you know, to get a smaller amount of things and maybe something we forgot from SNR or whatever. Or just when you're out of other things, you know, you you'll go there, condiments or whatever, you know, shampoo or whatever, you know. Um, so you, you know, so you could still, we still go there, whatever, you know, maybe even once a week, I don't know, but it's not gonna, we don't spend a lot, you know, but, you know, um, 
but our average bill is for four people, right? Every two weeks, we spend about two, two twenty, two thirty U.S. So that's twice a month. So you're talking four fifty, right? A month. And it's a lot of, you know, it covers a lot of food. You know what I mean? Like that's, you know, that, that covers a lot of our food. Uh, and then the grocery store. I don't know. Do, maybe we spend out maybe a hundred bucks a month at the regular grocery store. You know, um, <clears throat> so it's it's pretty. Uh, now we do. I will tell you that we will usually eat out twice a week. Now there's seven days in a week, and like one day, like Sunday, maybe would be maybe the day that we would go out to eat. You know, actually go to a restaurant around here in the mall somewhere. It's a ton of restaurants, good restaurants, you know. I mean, not high-end, but just good food, you know. And then there's, the other day we'll do like maybe, food, we'll just do delivery, like Food Panda. We use Food Panda. Grab Food is another one that delivers uh, uh, food from restaurants. They also deliver from groceries. If you are unable to go to the grocery store for yourself, Grab and Food Panda both deliver groceries to you as well you know so that's kind of cool um, so that that's what we do with food um, those are the some of the things that I could recommend you know for, for sort of saving money right and if you're gonna use and when you use food panda they all, they have discounts all the time like almost every time you're gonna order something if you especially if you're doing it once or only twice a week or something there's always like a 70 peso voucher, or sometimes it's 150 pesos. Well, that's like, you know, that ain't bad, man. That's like a buck, one to three dollar discount off of your order. You know what I mean? Kind of pays for the delivery or whatever, you know, because you don't charge a lot for the delivery. And the delivery drivers, you know, if you tip them like 20, 30 pesos, they're happy, man. You know, like they don't, they're not expecting anything more than that. And yeah, I'm talking like on a, a thousand peso order, right? Eleven hundred, twelve hundred peso worth of food, you know, which because there's four people here, you know what I mean? That's so that's a decent price, you know, for a meal for four people, you know what I mean? We're talking like twenty three dollars or whatever for four people. It's not bad, and that would include like just whatever small, you know, whatever tip I give the guy. You know, like I said, it's anywhere between. 20 and maybe 50 pesos, you know, depending on the weather. If it's rain, if it's raining and all that, and he delivered it in the rain, you know, because those guys are using their motorcycles and bicycles and stuff, you know, they're not, they don't have cars, you know. So, you know, when they come in the rain to deliver your food, man, you know, give them a decent tip, you know, give them 50 instead of 20 or whatever, you know. So, but, but anyway, there's some pretty good deals through Food Panda. I don't know many of the restaurants that they deliver from you know um, so I would yeah do that and um, you know now as far as utilities go well there's no gas here I mean for the most part there's no gas here <laughs> I mean when I say gas I mean like for heating okay there is gas for cooking obviously there's these these uh, liquid uh, propane tanks or whatever liquid gas whatever they call them LG tanks okay and they are usually around between 900 and a thousand pesos delivered to your apartment or home and they usually seem to last for and keep in mind there's a lot of cooking going on in this house you know and they last about at least two months they seem to last about two to three months I think you know so it's not a pretty inexpensive you know, you're, you're talking less than $20, like every two or three months, okay? Um, so really, you're going to, your the bulk of your bills are going to be electric, your electric bill, your water, like as far as service water within the unit, you know, the running water and all that, the shower water, whatever, and um, drinking water, okay? And internet. I mean, I'm assuming you're going to have internet here, you know, possibly cable TV, Although, my next subject, you might not need cable TV. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, but I'll, that's my next one. 
But but as far as utilities, yeah, with electric, I mean, I seldom use aircon during the day here, and we have aircon in I think two of the three bedrooms, and then there's a split unit in the living room. We only, for the most part, use this aircon and the master, you know, in our master bedroom when we sleep. Okay. So, you know, it's on for eight, nine hours or whatever, you know, a, a night. And I keep it at, when we're sleeping, we put it at 25 degrees centigrade, okay? Which is like, I think that's like 80, you know, 79 maybe, something like that. I don't know. Uh, 78, 79, you know, you can look it up. But, I mean, it's it's not cold, cold, you know, like we when people do in the U.S. in the summertime, they put, oh, they put the thermostat on 70 or, you know, 68 or some crazy thing, like in the summertime. I'm like, really? Um, yeah, we don't do that. And, like, I'm using it when I do these videos because of the noise factor. <laughs> I'll close the sliding door, I close this door, and I'll run the air con. But I have it at 27 degrees centigrade, you know, so I don't keep it really cold it's just cool enough to where it's comfortable for me you know uh, but at, when we're out in the living room though like even at night watching TV we, we got a fan we got a good sized fan you know we just run the fan you know um, oftentimes we will close the windows or the sliding doors in the living room because it can get loud with the traffic you know five six seven o'clock at night it, there's a lot of traffic and it, it can be pretty loud you're trying to watch a movie even with subtitles in that, when you can read it, you know, it's still kind of, you know, could be problematic, you know. So we just, just crank the fan up and, you know, close the windows, you know. Um, so that's kind of what we do, right? And now uh, drinking water is very cheap here. Like in, in our condo, it's for a four-gallon, I think it's at least four gallons. It's like a big blue bottle, you know. It's at least four gallons. Could be five, but I know it's at least four gallons of water. It's seventeen peso, thirty cents, or what is that? Thirty-four cents. I mean, or whatever, right? Um, thirty cents. I don't know. Whatever. It's it's nothing. You know. I mean, that last even last us. You know, a decent couple days at least. You know, what I mean, we drink a lot of water. You know? Um, and and we don't have to pay now. Per, this is not always going to be the situation with you or whatever wherever you're living, but we get so many bottles in about a three week period. We get a water ticket, so we get five free bottles in that during that period during that three week period. So you know, that's about half of that three week period. We're getting free water. You know, about ten eleven days, which is what five bottles would last us. Right, maybe at least eleven or maybe twelve days, we're getting like free water, and then for the other like say eight, nine days or whatever that's left, whatever three, four bottles that we have to buy, it's you know, whatever. It's going to be about seventeen pesos each bottle, so it's still not much, you know. Still talking like sixty pesos a month or something like that, you know, on the drinking water, and the service water is not that expensive either here, you know. Um, so you know, but that's uh, that's kind of that pretty much covers. Hey, another thing you can do, of course, is you could buy. Obviously, you're gonna own fans. Buy a fan here. You know, like any kind of standing fan or whatever. Box. I don't know, box fan, whatever you want, whatever kind of fan you want to get, get one for the living areas. You know, if you don't have air con at all, well, then obviously you have one in your room too. You know, have a fan in your room. You um, and I would say the, what's the other thing I was going to talk about? Oh yeah, ceiling fans, right? Like if you do have ceiling fans, you know, if you're going to live here, you know, you're going to live here long term. And especially if you have a house or something, you own the house, you had a house built. Yeah. Get ceiling fans in that house, man. All day long. You know, like if you're building a, your own house here, you know, and stuff, and you're really going to lay down roots, you're going to live here. Get ceiling fans, definitely. You know, I mean, you'll save a lot of money. Because there'll be 
often times where you won't even need the aircon on, especially at night, you know, depending on where you live or whatever, what, you know, you know what I mean? Or if you're on a second floor of your house, especially, you know, the higher up you are, the nicer the breeze, you know. But wherever you're living, yeah, you, you know, just, you'll save a lot of money. You know, even when you're using aircon in conjunction with the aircon, the, the ceiling fan will blow out, blow around the aircon. You know what I mean? It'll, it'll help just cool off the whole place, you know. So th that's my other suggestion. Um, internet is about, it depends, it's anywhere from uh, 30 to $50 a month. Okay, for, for internet, depending on the speed and stuff like that. You can probably get it even cheaper than 30, but it's going to be really crappy. So, you know, as far as decent internet goes, it's going to be 30 to 50 bucks a month. Okay, like I, I don't care if it's Globe, Smart, Sky, Sun, whatever. You know, it's pretty much going to be that. Um, you can even get these combo packages where you also get 60 cable channels. And internet and all that for re for even fifty bucks a month, you know, um, and stuff like that. But I will tell you this, man. Like, it's okay to have cable. We we actually have cable, at least you know, now we do. And there's like HBO and there's TapGo. There's a couple of good movie channels, you know, and stuff. And there's some other channels. There's Filipino channels and stuff like that. And there's other some American channels. But overall, you know. Don't watch it that much. We've got so many free streaming apps that's like you just don't even need to to watch that much cable TV. You know, you don't even need cable TV here. You know, um, and I know I've I've heard guys talk about Apple TV. You know, the 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 stick. You know, the Amazon stick. And yeah, those things are probably very good, right? Because I think you could spend anywhere from twenty to fifty dollars on the stick, depending on whether it's on sale or if it's current edition stick or if it's from two years ago or whatever. But it's pretty cheap, like up to fifty dollars maybe. And then I guess I don't know. I don't know if there's no monthly fee for those. I've never really checked into that. Uh, do your research on it, um, and, and find out whether you also pay a monthly fee when you use those sticks or not. If you don't, then it's a incredible no-brainer deal. You know, you just need internet, right? You know, you just plug it in your TV, and then bam, you know, you get all the stuff that's on there from Apple or from Amazon. It's like that's great. But okay, but what we use here is just there's just we have a VPN also, a virtual private network, which you know just makes your computer or TV seem like it's you're in the US <laughs> so you can get stuff that's where you have to be in the US to subscribe to it or whatever you know you're supposed to be in the US only or whatever so it really comes in handy especially for the streaming apps um, now we I was already an Amazon and Netflix uh, subscriber for the last several years like even when I was in the US so that can be used here as well with the VPN um, but then there's also these free apps like there's Peacock, Zoomy, I think it's with an X, right? X U M I. There's Vudu, V V U D U, I believe it is. Um, there's oh god, there's I even have a PBS app from the U.S. that's on my tele television. You know, like Chicago PBS. You know. There's some Chicago Tonight. There's some shows I like to watch, kind of like news slash political shows, or whatever that I like to watch. And um, and then there's there's just like uh, there's at least a handful of really good Pluto. It's another one. And now they have ads. Okay, they're free with ads. But Peacock, I think, yeah, they have like three different ver free, and then they have like premium. They have premium plus. Well, with the premium, you can watch Sunday Night Football. I think it's only, they got a deal now. It's like $2 a month, right? And it's normally $5 a month. And you can literally watch like a, other stuff in addition to the free stuff. But there is still ads. But you can also watch football, like Sunday Night Football, right? Um, Amazon, you can watch Thursday Night Football. Now, of course, 
you're going to be watching it in the Philippines on the next morning, like Friday, Thursday night football, you'll be watching it on Friday morning. Sunday night football, you'll be watching on Monday morning. Okay, but you can do it. I just did it. <laughs> I saw the Bears lose to the Packers. I made that prediction too on my couple videos ago. I'm like, oh, I still think that they're going to have a good season. You know, it's a rebuilding season, but I think it's going to be better than what most people think that they're going to do this year. And then I think next year it'll be even better. And you know, a couple of years, who knows? You know, they could easily be a good playoff team in a couple of years. You know, the Bears. But anyway, um, but yeah, uh, yeah, Peacock, very good. A lot of they even have original programming that's really good, like Yellowstone. It's good, really good show with, on Peacock. Um, I think it's premium. You have to be on premium. But, uh, yeah, and Pluto, all kinds of live TV even. You know what I mean? Like they'll have like a lineup of live TV and news from different cities. All the major cities in the U.S., like you could watch, you know, Chicago news or whatever. It's pretty cool, you know. I mean, it, it's pretty amazing. So I wouldn't even bother with cable, if, you know, if I were you, like living here. I would just get good Internet, though. I, I would pay, like, you know, whatever, even if you pay 50 bucks just for the internet, you know, but you're getting the really good speed, you know, like whatever, you know, maybe a hundred download or something like that, and, you know, 20 upload, whatever. But the speeds that I noticed that they advertise, they tend to be like, it'll say up to, you know, 120 MPS. But I think that that's a combination of the download and the upload speed that's not like just the download speed I think I made this point in a previous video too but just to clarify it or you know just to sort of uh, reiterate on that you know um, if you see that like 80 or 120 MPS it's gonna be like a combination speed it's not gonna be you're not gonna probably get that as a download speed you're not gonna get 120 down you know what I mean and then like 20 up or whatever no now you're going to get like 40 or 50 down, you know, or something like that. And then maybe like, you know, you might get 10 to 15 upload, you know. But but I've never seen, I've got a pretty good plan here, and I've never seen it above 40 or 45 download speed, you know. Uh, an upload, I've never seen more than 15, I don't think. Maybe, maybe more, maybe 15 to 20. It might have hit that ballpark, you know, but but it's good enough. You know what I mean? You don't need you know you don't need a hundred. You don't need two hundred download speed. You know, like they have in the U.S. and all that. And guess what? The when I had Comcast in Chicago, the upload was fifteen, so it was no better. The upload was no better than here. And but yeah, the download was twice as fast, or three times as fast, or four times. You know, whatever. But you know, you don't really necessarily need all that, you know, so. Anyway, I think that's about it, guys, but check into these free streaming apps, man. I mean, they're really, really cool, you know, and I think, I mean, I might, I probably missed one of them. Tubi, that's another one, Tubi. Now, some of them have old movies, too, you know, a lot of them have, like, older movies and even kind of obscure movies, like, but they're pretty cool, you know, and, um, and they, and they often have TV shows as well, not just movies uh, and, and stuff like that. So there's at least a solid handful. Where am I? Five. There's a solid handful of these free apps that you can put on your TV. You know, and provided you have, like, I don't even think you always need a smart TV, but, uh, yeah, it, it helps if you have a smart TV to put these apps on. It's a lot easier. So... All right, guys, just some money-saving tips for you guys in the Philippines. All right, that's about it. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day.